The coronavirus is putting corporations in limbo as supply chains feel the domino effect of the illness. But for a look at how everyday commodities are being impacted, let's bring in Brian Suzarchuk, president of Termalina Metals in Vancouver, Canada. Brian, good to see you here. Do you think oil is bottomed? I think oil may have bottomed, but there is a lot of uncertainty out there in terms of the demand side of the equation. This coronavirus crisis, the information flow coming from China and from other parts of the world for that matter, is erratic, it's inconsistent, and it's creating a lot of uncertainty out there. Brian, we know that China is the world's most important market when it comes to base metals. How has this virus been impacting copper? Well, the impact on metals has been divergent. Because of the inconsistency of the information flow from China and the chaotic scene that this is creating within worldwide markets, you're seeing demand for base metals come into question, while at the same time, what happens when markets are worried, scared, uncertain? You see increased demand for gold. So the impact is potentially negative on copper and the base metals, while uncertainty normally creates an environment where investors want the safety, the hedge, uh, the certainty of gold. Brian, let's think uh, long term here for a second. Uh, if we do get the, the V-shaped recovery in the Chinese economy later this year, do you think oil prices spike? We could see that. And I think that one thing that you have seen in North America and in other oil producing markets is that we have seen uh, the demand side waver. There hasn't been as much coming online as has been uh, in the past. And I think that we could see a, a spike because uh, demand supply, it, it's always the same thing. Th they lag. You can't turn back on commodity supply overnight once you see a, a price movement. It, it takes a little while to catch up. So we definitely could see a big spike in some of the commodities uh, like oil and, and like copper for that matter. Brian, are people in your industry concerned about the impact of the virus on operations? Because a lot of mining happens in China as well. I think that, number one, everybody out there, of course, is concerned about the human impact of this. From an industry perspective, we haven't seen big supply-side disruptions yet. The one thing that I see as a theme out there in terms of incoming inquiries Termalina is a very high-grade gold situation, and we're seeing more and more interest, not only from specialists, but from generalists in high-grade gold situations. And that's just natural, because when there is uncertainty, when there is chaos, when there is the unknown, and the coronavirus is still a big unknown here as to its ultimate impacts worldwide, people flock to gold. And with Termalina Metals, we've seen over the past 10 days, the number of incoming inquiries has, has really jumped. People have seen the initial high-grade results that we put out, and they're interested in finding out more. So this is a real divergent story in terms of the metals, negative overall for the base metals like copper, but for gold, it, it's attracting some real interest. Yep, continues to be a hedge. Brian Sluzarchuk, thanks so much for being with us. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.